children welcome back to your online classes children we were studying lesson number 10 force work and energy this is part 2 of lesson number 10 in the previous session we have discussed about force about impacts or effects of force in this lesson we are going to learn force different types of forces force and work simple machines we are going to learn about simple machines in detail about energy and various types of energy so children we learn that what is force so can you tell me what is force in this picture you can see it is the example of force right so what are the children doing either they are pulling or pushing something right so what is force children force is a pull or push that acts on an object repeat with me what is force a force is a pull or push that acts on an object right now we have also studied effects of force so what are the effects of force force can stop an object it can move an object force can change the direction of an object it can also change the shape of an object we have discussed in detail with examples like how force can change the direction of an object so can you give me an example of this yes when we uh, hit a shuttlecock with a racket right then what do we do we change the direction of an object right in the same way when the us bicycle is moving and we stop that bicycle so what we have done we have stopped a moving object in this way we saw the examples of impacts of force right now children we are going to study about types of forces now we will study muscular force gravitational force frictional force elastic force and mechanical force first we are going to see the pictures of various types of forces now from this picture what you can make it out yes when we use muscles when we use the muscles of our body it may be the muscles of leg or the muscles of hand then that force is called muscular force as you can see in the picture the picture shows the use of muscular force right now this is gravitational force you have studied gravitational force in the previous classes right so what is gravitational force generally you know that the gravitational force is the force exerted by earth right but that is the gravitational pull of earth and what is that the earth pulls everything towards it that is the gravitational force of earth right now next is friction friction you also studied about friction in the previous classes children friction occurs when two surfaces come in contact with each other now here what is happening there is friction in between my hands when i am rubbing my hands the surfaces are coming in contact with each other so what is happening here children here friction is happening so friction occurs when two surfaces come in contact with each other friction also occur when a liquid or a gas is pushed out of the way of a moving object as you can see in the picture the aeroplane moves by by pushing the air backward right and also a swimmer moves in the water by pushing the water backward so this is friction now next is elastic force what is elastic children you must have seen and a rubber band right a rubber band it stretches right and when you stretch it too much its shape changes 
and when you leave the rubber band the rubber band comes back to its original shape so which force helps it to come back to its original shape that is elastic force this picture is of mechanical force children understand one thing that an object can either be at rest means it is not moving or it will be in the state of motion that is it is moving now mechanical force is a force when it comes in contact with anything it changes its state of motion the things which are at rest starts moving and which were moving already comes to rest means it stops right so this is mechanical force it can also bend or break things now we are going to discuss about different kind of forces in detail now the first one is muscular force as you know that muscular force as it is clear from the name itself that when the force is applied by any muscles of your body right that is the muscle of hand or a muscle of leg then that force is called muscular force it is the force applied using parts of body like arms or legs for example when you try to pull something or push something you use the strength or muscles of your arms then that will be the muscular force this force that result due to the action of muscles when you push or pull an object you use muscles to apply force this force is called muscular force you use muscular force to pick up a book carrying back to school riding bicycle playing basketball and you also use your muscles to write on a paper right so now did you understand what is muscular force right when your muscles are used to apply force then that is called as muscular force let us move on to the next one gravitational force now children understand one thing Gravi gravitation in general means attraction attraction means there is a force of attraction which acts between everything which come in contact with each other everything that that has mass and when this force of attraction is applied by earth we call it gravitational pull of earth understood every single thing in the universe tend to attract another thing which which comes in contact with it but the attraction or the force of attraction is not so strong understood it also depends on the mass or weight of an object universal force of attraction acting between all matters you know what is matter right every object in the universe attracts object near it this force of attraction is called gravitational force it depends on the size of object the ball thrown up comes down after some time yes when playing cricket how far or how much up in the sky you hit the ball after some time the ball comes down can you tell me why yes because of the gravitational pull of earth which is exerted by earth on the ball which is thrown up or which is hit by the batsman right and because of the gravitational force or gravitational pull of earth which is exerted by earth on every object the things do not flow in the space yes things are there everything which is there on earth because it is because 
of the gravitational pull that is exerted by earth on it. Understood children? So, gravitation in general means attraction. Attraction between matter, between the things which are present in the universe. And when this force of attraction is exerted by earth, we call it gravitational pull of earth. That is why fruits fall down from the tree. It doesn't go up, right? Or do they go up and fly in the sky? No. And why? The reason is gravity. Let us move on to the next force. Force of friction. The force of friction always acts between two surfaces. When two surfaces come in contact with each other, friction force acts. Now the force generated by two surfaces that contact and slide against each other. Now children, friction is very important in our day-to-day -day life. Now understand, when there is more friction, the movement is rough. And when there is less friction, the movement is smooth. Let us take an example. You all must have played with a toy car, especially boys, right? So when we move the toy car on the tiles or on a very plain or smooth surface, the car goes very smoothly and little far away, right? This you must have experienced and instead of that, if you try to run that toy car on a carpet, then the car will go slow as well as it will stop faster than on the smoother surface. Can you tell me why? Because friction is more when the car is running on the carpet. Friction always works in the direction opposite to motion. When friction is more, movement is rough. When friction is less, movement is smooth. But too much of friction makes people fall down. For example, if there is oil spill on the floor, then you will slip on that. You will fall down because of very less friction. Now, friction acts in the direction opposite to the direction of movement. Smooth surfaces cause less friction than rough surfaces. Friction is needed to walk on any surface. Without friction, we cannot walk. You need friction for brakes to work in a bicycle because when the brake and the tire of the bicycle come in contact with each other, the force of friction acts and it makes the bicycle stop. Without friction, anything that is moving will never stop. One more thing, you are able to write on the paper with the help of your pen or pencil that is also because of friction. Try to put some oil on the paper and then try to write on that paper. And then it, just note down what happens. I'll ask you or you just think that answer in your mind when I ask you this question in the next session. Okay. Now children, elastic force. You all, you all have seen rubber bands or elastic things in our day-to-day -day life. We have seen elastic in so many places. What is this something we call it elastic? Only few things have elasticity. Elasticity means that can expand, right? And when you leave that thing, it comes back to its original position. Elastic force occurs as a deformed. Deformed means stretched object tries to return to its original shape. The force that resists stretching and makes the material go back to its original state is called elastic force. Archer stretched bow, that one. And twisted rubber band are the example of elastic force. So, today we discussed about various type of forces 
in detail. I hope you enjoyed this session. Sairam.